What is going on today, guys? I thought it would be fun to just do a casual walkthrough to see some of the updates that Neural DSP put into the Archetype Pliny X, the new version of the Archetype Pliny. And I've got it up on the screen here now. And we'll just do a quick walkthrough, like I said, of some tones. I'm sure you're very familiar with their layout, so I'm going to go through that really briefly here. Uh, first off, you know, when you first open the plugin, page one, you've got your pre effects. This stuff is po uh, pre the amp. Uh, you've got your compressor here, you've got an octave pedal, a drive, and a delay. I really like the delay pedal in front of the amp because it just gives you a change of pace of tones, something different, you know, it just, uh, well, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Page two is the amps, and Nero usually has three different selections here, and they do this time as well. Uh, there's a clean amp, there's a low mid gain kind of amp for crunch tones, and then your high gain lead stuff is right here. And they all sound great. I don't know what amplifiers they're emulating, but they all sound amazing. And I'm not just saying that, you know, they really do sound good. Uh, page three, of course, is your cab section and your mics, mic placement, all that stuff. I generally don't mess around with this page too much at all because I find that um, right out of the box, it just sounds good. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can, you can change your mic placement, stuff like that. You can change up the mics altogether, throw something else on there. And you can also load in your own IR. So you can customize it as much as you want to. I just kind of set it and forget it or just leave it all together. Uh, next up, you've got an EQ section, which all of the Nero plugins that I've played have. It's got the nice nine band EQ here, but they've added one extra feature to this one, which kind of sets it apart. Uh, it's got a high pass and a low pass filter, and these are phenomenal. These work really well to help you tailor your tone quickly. If you find you've got too much sub or low woofiness going on, you just dial that right out. Same can be said for the high end, the brittle stuff. If you've got a really bright pickup or your setup just sounds very trebly, uh, just pull that bad boy back to, you know, dial it into suit how you like it and you're good to go. I don't usually mess with this too much either. I might tweak some frequencies a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I just either leave it off or just leave it as it's set for the preset already. Lastly, you've got your post effects, post amp. Uh, they always have a delay and a reverb of, of some sort. Here they've added in a chorus pedal. Um, you know, I have to say this, from my experience, all of Neural's effects in their plugins sound phenomenal. Um, they always sound organic and real, like you're really in the room, like you're really getting that effect. And it's they never sound artificial. You never hear a lot of weird artifacts or funny frequencies kind of poking through. They just sound very dynamic and lush and full, and uh, they just get it right. As far as effects go, Neural is like 100% right up there. So, like I said, when you first open up the plugin, you're gonna get this amp here, uh, the default setting. So let's just play a few notes and see what it sounds like. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I decided to bust out the uh, Gibson SG. Uh, she hasn't been on the channel in quite a while. And kind of a fan favorite, so I should bring her out more often. I dressed up the fingerboard, put some new strings on her, so she's good to go. So once I'm done playing around with the default settings, I usually just start tweaking right off the bat and make my own presets, which I did here. We'll go to those first. Uh, the first one I called first preset, because why not? So, let's see. <laughs> Sounds amazing. preset sounds great second preset is not called second preset i named it mean ass rhythm because of this <laughs> And 
that is mean indeed. I generally like to make presets, or I generally make guitar tones that could kind of work as a rhythm or lead or both, depending if you just want to boost it with a pedal. Um, you know, that's just me. I like to have a lot of effects and some reverb, even in my rhythm tones. <laughs> Sounds sick. Uh, and you know, as is typical with all of Nero's products, um, the artist has a ton of presets here, so Pliny's got a ton of them, dozens of them. And other artists contribute to the preset bank as well. And you've got some great players here. And uh, so let's just start off with some of Pliny's presets just to kind of get a sense of what you know he sounds like. And uh, it's his plugin, so let's you know see what it see what we get. <laughs> That sounds amazing, and that is definitely Pliny-esque. Uh, if you're familiar with his playing, he's a phenomenal player, and uh, he likes to do a lot of the lower gain, very melodic, very mid-forward, uh, very low treble. You know, he pulls, he dials those trebles way back, and it's a very, almost like you're taking the tone knob in your guitar and just turning it back. But the low gain stuff is nice for a change. You know, sometimes you don't need the heavy chug thing. If you do, this isn't really the plug-in for you. Uh, you can get a lot of gain out of the high gain amp, you know, this is geared toward the more melodic, more lead player, people that play plenty type stuff or polyphia type stuff, you know? Um, so that's what you're getting with this. But it sounds great for what it is. It really does. So let's go to some more uh, presets here. Uh, twang. What do we got here? Cool. Uh, we'll jump around a little bit more. I can't obviously go through all of them, so let's just get you, give you a sense of some of the stuff he's got here. So uh, here's a clean tone. That's very warm. Um, that's cool. It's too much bass for me though, so I'm gonna pull the bass down with, for this guitar. I have compressors on. What else do we have going on here? Um, let's use that uh, high pass filter and see what that does. That does the job, man. It pulls it right out. Let's see how far we can go with that thing. And uh, back it off again. Let's see, Nero always offers a few too. You know, these are usually very generic sounding in my uh, experience, but uh, let's see what we get here. Uh, you never know. Yeah, let's try some more of the artist presets here. I'm just gonna jump around. What are we using on that? Compressor. They're not using the octave pedal on that or transposer. Ah, the doubler is on. I think the doubler first showed up with the archetype Petrucci. Uh, it seems to be kind of coming out with all of them now. And it's a fun little tool, but I mean, it's also a little gimmicky, honestly. I wouldn't see myself recording with it necessarily, but it's nice to play with if you want to see or hear rather what a double track guitar 
would sound like, you know, especially with leads and stuff, it's 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 fun. Uh, chug a lug a ling lung. I don't even know what that. Jack Gardner, he's always got some really great stuff. So let's see what he's got going on here. Uh, Lo-fi, almost clean. chorus going on there and it's using the spatial chorus the vintage chorus to me is a little bit smoother and a little more realistic sounding i guess if you want to you know put a word on it put an adjective on it it's just it's crisp it's clean it's tight i like that uh i prefer the vintage chorus overall Let's go with this, uh, try this out. And let's do a couple more plenty and then we're gonna be out of here. That's all about. Soda Boy, I have no idea what this sounds like. Honestly, I've really had a 
fun time playing with this plugin. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. Two thumbs up. These guys just keep knocking it out of the park. Each successive uh, plugin that they release just kind of gets better and better. And it's nice when a company has so many different offerings to kind of, you know, suit whatever your playing style is, whatever you're into, they've got it for you. I'm not being paid by them at all to say that. I'm just telling you my true feelings. Honestly, I really just love neural stuff above pretty much everything else these days. Yeah, that all being said, though, the new Neural DSP Archetype Plenty X is definitely 100% uh, thumbs up for this one. And uh, I will be purchasing this. So, I mean, stuff's on sale still until the end of the month. So don't miss out on that 50% off Black Friday, Black Friday week uh, sale that Neural's got going on. If you want to check out something, you can check out their stuff for free. 14-day free trial for any of their plugins if you haven't done so already. So that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to be taking off now because I got to go make some lunch. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Do you already have this plugin? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. What do you think of it? Do I suck? Do you like the uh, SG? Do you miss it? Should I bring it out more often? I'm out of here, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!